One down. Yeah. So it looks like Spider has chosen Cactus Valley as the second map. Um, so we'll be getting that set up. My, my next question would be, though, if, if we figured that, you know, game time is up a match now, it seems like he's feeling confident going into this. Are we going to see something kind of silly or goofy from him, maybe? Nope. Absolutely not. Uh, I, I believe the game time is going to play straight up all the way through the tournament. Yeah. Um, he's very confident. He's um, very confident in his play. He's been practicing a lot. Um, and I don't think he really needs to do anything silly to, to take a win. So I think he, he knows that his best chances are to just play good, solid, straight-up games. Yeah, and, you know, I think that I agree that he doesn't need to. Um, my, I guess I'm almost wondering... If because he's feeling so confident and he's a game up, if he wouldn't try something. But you know, I did hear overhear him saying once he realized that the entire tournament up to the final was a best of three, that that's going to change his strategy, yeah. and he really doesn't feel comfortable losing a map. So he wants to to win every game if possible. Yeah, I mean, he really, really wants that uh, that. I'm going to go ahead and say puck versus game time final. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't really think he's going to take any chances with that. That's fair. Um, That's fair. But, you know, on the other hand, I, I could be wrong. Uh, my predictions are commonly <laughs> the opposite of what I say. But, uh, um, you know, you never know. He, he could be a game up and say... You know, and also, you know, there is the factor that both of these have been kind of pretty... Both these guys have been really jovial with each other. They yeah. have, uh, you know, they have a, a very mutual respect for each other. You could say, you know what, I'm just going to have fun this game. And uh, come what may. Right. Well, there's only one way to find out, and it looks like the players are readied up, so we can get this lobby on the move. Countdown and start. Yep. Yep. And uh, we have a little bit of a crowd coming up here. Some of the players that were eliminated yesterday showing back up to watch if the, the people spectating the game are actually off to the um, left. Left there a little bit. The chairs you see right there are from uh, one of the fighting game screens. So there are a good number of people out there in the crowd watching. Uh, there was some question about, you know, the, the room seems pretty empty this morning. You know, what's going on with that? And, you know, the only answer really is uh, there was quite the, the party throughout the hotel last night. Uh, yeah. People were out running around uh, with various uh, beverages in hand. And <laughs> And yeah, I got in the elevator <laughs> last night, and I could not figure out what this one guy had. I mean, he smelled like a weird mix of garlic, liquor, and B.O. It was very <laughs> weird and off-putting. I could not wait to get out of that elevator. But there's a lot of that. There's a, there's a I'm pretty sure that any <laughs> bottled drink that you opened, you could just pick any one that you saw walking by and open it up, and a strong scent of liquor <laughs> coming from it. Uh, anyway, we're here for a game. <laughs> it's uh, in the upper left-hand corner of Cactus Valley. It is the Yellow Zerg. It is Spider Slayer. And in the top right-hand corner, taking game one, after playing very defensively, it is game time. And, you know, I'll tell you, it, it, I think every year this usually happens as far as the time change, because we're in the eastern time zone, we have daylight savings time, which means in the fall we go back one hour. So at 2 a.m. it be, or at 3 a.m. it becomes 2 a.m. again. Yes. I think. So you get to see 2 a.m. twice, but that also means you get an extra hour of sleep. Uh, so I actually woke <laughs> up here. before my alarm today, which was weird. Yeah, you know, I mean, we, we knowing that we would be casting most of the day today, tried to get to bed a little bit earlier, but there was definitely a lot of folks who were taking advantage of that extra hour to have some fun. Yeah, there, uh, there definitely was, uh, was you know, one year where we stayed out a little bit too late <laughs> on, on Saturday, and Sunday was just like, oh, guys, you know what, there's a game going on, you can just watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> trying to avoid that happening again. <laughs> So it looks like uh, Pool from both players, Game Time, got his out a little bit earlier. Both mining, uh, actually just Game Time mining gas here. It's like he's going to be going for some early speedlings. And uh, Spider Slayer opting for that early expansion. Yeah. And this is, we have time and time again seen this. It is going to be a, uh, the match between, I'm expecting Spider Slayer to put down a Baneling nest here for too long. It's going to be probably a match between speedlings and slow Banelings. Well, it looks With like, an expansion. You know, it looks like game time is just going very aggressively right now. He has no real desire to put down an expansion. He, he's still mining gas to put down a Baneling Nest, but, I mean, this is this is where he's moving. Oh, and Spider Slayer is going to see this. He's just moving his Overlord to watch the uh, the move path here. He's going to see these lanes coming across, so he's going to know what's up. He does. He's got a queen on the way. Not really a whole lot else at this time. So this queen is not quite going to be out when these lanes get here. 
Depends really if they stop off at the natural expansion and try and chew on that for a while. Two lanes here coming up for Fighter Slayer, but he's going to go ahead and pull those on up. This queen is, oh man, he's going to lose this expansion probably. Uh, one drone does pop out along with these Zerglings. Game time really just going for it here. Yeah. Spider Slayer putting down a spine crawler in the main base. Spider Slayer just kind of going to let them chew on that and get some time to get some units going here. He's going to come down with a couple lings and he's going to, oh, very close to losing those as they uh, were popping out right there. Oh, he really wants, oh, the queen did oh, come the queen out. does come out. <laughs> That's unfortunate. A lot of links from game time here, and a metabolic yeah. boost is just about done. So he's going to have speedlings versus these slowlings of Spider Slayer. Bainly Nest is halfway done here for Spider Slayer. Yeah, but it's completely done for game time. Yep. And links continue to st stream across the map. Spider Slayer really needs that second queen to block off that ramp right now. That is a, uh, a huge loss for him to lose that queen just as it popped out of the hatchery. Spider yeah, it looks like he's going to try and use some of Zerglings to fill that hole, but they go down a lot faster. In come the Banelings to try and pop in there and take down whatever's left. And wow, that is a lot of Banelings to not a lot of Zerglings. They're going to move right into the drone line. Spine crawlers. Oh, no. And uh, this this looks like it's going to be oh, over fairly game quickly. Game time could here. have popped those Banelings a couple times. When I was just waiting for the optimal hit, though. But it's uh, it's pretty pretty much curtains and here for Spider Slayer, and there's the GG. So as we said, I mean, quick, repeatedly, these Zerg versus Zerg games are just like boom, boom, done. Yeah, quite quick that time. So yep. uh, so game time moves on. Uh, Spider Slayer is our fourth place player, uh, so he'll be yep, taking home some see. good cash and still has an opportunity it. to play in the. Uh, the Archon mode, so he will be picking whoever he would like his teammate to be. So, my Spider Slayer is going to take home around $110 at yeah. fourth place. That's so pretty not, good. Not bad. So, it's it, at this point, I, I think it's safe to say that it's going to be Spider Slayer and Puck versus Winter in game time, but you never know. He could pay, pick something a little goofier. Yeah, and you know, you got to think about that. If, um, if whichever, there's three Zergs and one Protoss that are going to be in it. Yeah. So, no matter. Who it is, whoever's with Puck is going to have to, uh, you know, it's going to be, a, I'm pretty sure that Protoss is going to be the choice, so the Archon is probably going to be a PVZ. And uh, so you're going to have two Zergs versus a Protoss and a Zerg playing as Protoss, most likely. So there, I, I think that'll maybe even it out a little bit. I know that uh, all the players kind of dabble with all the races, but we'll see. It should be uh, should be pretty interesting. So now we're going to be getting set up for uh, for Winter versus Puck. Yep. And uh, we will be back with that as soon as we get the players set up. And one one more time, uh, those of you just joining us, this is Yomacon 2015 in Detroit. We're moving into the winner's semifinal. Mm -hmm. um, I am Winglet Asi. With me is Galligation. Hello. This is Championship Sunday. And uh, we are brought to you today by MythLogic. They are uh, one of our partners in uh, putting on this event. And uh, they've put up a good chunk of change to help us to uh, draw the players that we have here and uh, pay the top six enough money to cover their expenses for entering the tournament, which is pretty cool. So if you're looking for a, a custom PC, uh, definitely check them out. It's MythLogic.com or look them up on Facebook or Twitter by searching for MythLogic. Uh, they build some really cool systems, also design land centers all over the country. Um, and, uh, yeah, so thanks thanks to them. Show Absolutely. their support for supporting uh eSport events and stuff like that. Yeah, big time thanks to them and thanks to you for joining us this morning. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with those matches.